Today, one in every six patients in the U.S. receives care at a Catholic hospital. More and more hospitals across the country are affiliated with the Catholic health system, but patients don't always know what that means. So what does Catholic health care actually look like? Well, most of the hospitals are nonprofit corporations, so they benefit from public funding like state and federal family planning programs and Medicare and Medicaid. And while hospitals are not directly controlled by the Catholic Church, the doctors have to follow 72 rules written by the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops, the Ethical and Religious Directives for Catholic Healthcare Services. The Bible instructs Christians to provide for those in need, and the directives do as well. They mandate care for the poor, elderly, and sick, regardless of insurance. But there are also certain procedures that are prohibited by the directives, including abortion, even when the mother's health is at risk, assisted reproduction of any kind, like egg and sperm donation, in vitro fertilization or surrogacy, contraception, assuming you're not married and looking for natural family planning, and sterilization operations like tubal ligation and vasectomies. Oh, and doctors can't honor advanced directives that conflict with Catholic teaching, so assisted suicide or declining life support is out of the question. At a time when hospitals across the country are struggling to stay open, the Catholic health care system is providing care for communities that might not otherwise have any. But patients at those hospitals might not have access to the services they need. Is your nearest hospital a Catholic institution? If you live in Alaska, Iowa, Washington, Wisconsin, or South Dakota, there's a good chance it is. 